And coming up next, Team ID Pass. Three minutes on the clock. Go! We're ID Pass. And what we've created is a solution to help a billion plus undocumented people around the world gain access to essential legal, governmental, healthcare, and financial services. With our solution, this undocumented person can build out a trusted ID that is private, fully under their control, and recoverable. We do this by combining the decentralized identification specification of the W3C with EOS account management and recovery services. So as an example, let's go to Jeremy, who's just been in a devastating earthquake in Nepal and needs access to medical attention. So his neighbor is gonna take him to the Red Cross tent in the village to see Dr. Rahman. Now as a first step, before Dr. Rahman arrived in the village, he knew he might not have internet access. So he goes to the ID Pass Red Cross page and he's gonna pre-stock his profile with a number of decentralized IDs that are immutable and tied to the EOS blockchain. After he's done this, he can go to the village and he can meet with Jeremy and he's gonna ask him his full name, his short name, gender and date of birth. After he completes this, you're gonna see in the next step that Dr. Rahman is gonna scan Jeremy's eye. And the reason for this is we don't wanna force Jeremy to have to remember the private key that proves his decentralized ID ownership on the US blockchain. After scanning the eye, Dr. Rahman is able to verify all the information he's collected and sign it with the Red Cross decentralized ID that lives, also lives in the EOS blockchain. Now as a final step, Dr. Rahman can choose to print an ID pass that's either disposable, uh, so something that's gonna be cheap and easily accessible, or a hardware-based ID pass. So you can think of this as a smart card that has a secure chip that will store his private ID key, his private key that proves his decentralized ID ownership and can only be unlocked by that eye scan. Now after this step, Jeremy can take this disposable ID, uh, ID pass, to the banker in town. And what's special about this, he has that verifiable claim on that card that he controls. He could choose which claim he wants to show to the banker. In this case, he's choosing to show the Red Cross claim that he's already collected. And now the banker doesn't need to trust that Jeremy, doesn't need to trust that Jeremy um, uh, had this information. He could trust the signed version of the ID looking at the EOS DID on the blockchain. So in conclusion, we've created a solution for a billion plus people to gain access to essential services. We plan to make this an open source project. And, uh, and time, give it up. Judges, two minutes back to you for any questions you have. Uh, does this require a, um, a smartphone to operate? No, so with this solution, the ID pass can be printed on this disposable card format, or it could be printed, uh, stored on a smart card. Yeah, because uh, people in remote villages don't always have a mobile phone. Sometimes they have mobile phone, but it's shared across multiple people. So we need a, uh, something that is cheap that can be given to them. And what's the cost of the iris scanning hardware? Um, this iris scanning is around $200. Thank you. Is it easy to commit fraud with the, uh, ir I mean, to fool the iris scanner? How reliable is the hardware? So it's actually more reliable than uh, fingerprint, for instance. <coughs> So you guys have heard of Uport, right? Uh, the Uport identity system. Uh, what does this have over that? Which is like the Ethereum system that people add attributes to, like Red Cross verification, all this stuff. Yeah. So on Ethereum, like you have like Uport uh, to do sovereign, uh, sovereign, uh, self-sovereign identity. Uh, the thing is, all the use cases is built like for people to have a mobile phone. So all the users have a mobile phone. We're focusing on people that don't have a mobile phone. So in remote villages that are no technology, uh, delivering them an identity. The so one billion people that have no identity today. Cool. Very cool. Seems like a really great idea. Um, but I'm just wondering uh, why one of the very, very many blockchain ID projects that are under development now, there must be dozens, wouldn't um, basically fold this feature into their larger feature set. 
10 second warning. So our focus is more like the registration part and giving something to people who have no identification because everybody's focusing on people who have a mobile phone, for example. So we're really focusing on the rest of the people and nobody has really the experience to do this. And it. time. <laughs> Give it up for ID Pass. Well done, guys. There can now be only one left, the big one. As Brian Mailer brings the check up for the first place, the first of our first places in this global hackathon series, before we move on to three more events and a grand finale, it's time to announce the overall winning team. In first prize for $100,000, and that trip to the EOS grand finale for a chance at $500,000. A warm round of applause. Our overall winners for this event. Idea Pass, come on down! We're <laughs> unexpected. 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 Yeah. And we end up being the winner. Like that's just amazing. Like feels great. Fantastic. Awesome. Yeah. We probably haven't totally realized yet. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, your overall grand prize winning team with a top prize of $100,000. Idea Pass, give it up one more time. Our goal is to continue our project, help bringing identity to the 1.1 billion people with no formal identity today. Remember that these three teams will be representing Hong Kong during the grand finale. We haven't slept for 24 hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're, really we're still jumping up and down because of the grand prospect of going to this final hackathon. Is it in London? <laughs> we haven't even thought of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good night, Hong Kong! Here we go!